Hi guys and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are going to knit a soccer ball. It's a fun toy for children or even dogs. I just noticed that the leading knitting website Ravelry is featuring my colorful soccer ball on their homepage and blog and it's getting a lot of love. So I thought it would be fun to share my process of knitting this plush toy with you. The materials we will use are 10 grams of yarn in any colors of your choice, two size six US knitting needles, scissors, a tapestry needle, and about eight ounces of fluffy stuffing. We will first create 20 individual hexagon knit shapes, mine are white, and 12 pentagons, which I made in various vibrant colors. This project really familiarizes you with how a soccer ball is constructed. I never realized that it's composed of both hexagons and pentagons. Oh, and if you're enjoying learning how to knit a soccer ball, please hit like. Let me know that you would enjoy seeing more fun ideas like this. I learned how to make this knit soccer ball from the great free pattern at Yana Knits. I have the link to the complete pattern in the description below, including how to make the hexagon and pentagon shapes. I've created this graphic to help you see exactly how to knit your shapes together. I'll include a link to download this graphic in the description below too. Once all of your knit shapes are ready, start knitting them together following the chart. This ball is, of course, in 3D, so the shapes will connect together in a really cool way. Notice how you always have your pentagon encircled with five hexagons? Keep that in mind. It will help you as you get closer to wrapping the piece around to connect all of the sides together. Oh, if you would like to add a shaker, get creative. What I did was took a plastic Easter egg, filled it with dried brown rice, and then I taped it securely shut. Once we have knitted up all but the opening, it's time for stuffing. I'm placing my shaker into the middle of my soccer ball. Awesome, you have learned how to knit a soccer ball. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And let's be friends on Ravelry. I'll include the link to my username below. And thank you so much for watching Studio Knit. When you subscribe, you will receive a new knitting lesson every Monday. And check out my other videos like the World Cup's Proud to Play and how to knit a sports headband. Sporty fun for everyone. Bye.